Thank you, John. Truly. Hi to all my classmates and anyone else who may have stumbled across this video. In the wake of this week's election, I'd look, like to put another of my two cents in. During the past couple of weeks, I put three quasi-weird videos on YouTube to express my thoughts and feelings about the upcoming election. <clears throat> Orson Welles, 2038, Don't Fence Us In, and Aldecar the Magnificent, Alan David Carriero, Aldecar. <clears throat> the uh, final video in my little tetralogy is this one. Um, don't have a name for it yet. Oh, yes, I do. 2016 Worries About the Future of Our Country. I see by some of your posts that many of you are terribly distraught by the results of the election. I was sad to read the words written by some of you. I can't find the page on Facebook where I saw the posts, but I do remember that I saw things written by Christine, Lois, and Joan that spoke of the election results causing them to feel depressed that for them it's one of the worst events in the history of our country and that they are disturbed that the winner has absolutely nothing in common with their beliefs. I didn't know who won until the morning after the election. When I saw the headline in the Grand Rapids Press here in Michigan, I was actually surprised how powerfully it hit me. It was like being hit with a brick. I also find it terribly disturbing how so much hateful, insulting language has been thrown around on the internet by some of our classmates about the candidates and about each other. Now, to be sure, I'm somewhat worried um, about what the future holds for us. <clears throat> Someone is going to be in charge in Washington that has grown used to having and wielding immense power for a long time, albeit in the financial world. That person will also have access to the world's biggest nuclear arsenal. And that person has said things publicly that suggest to me an impulsive nature. I wish it were different. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a combination of three things. But it's n but this is the way it is. And despite our fear, anger, or depression, I'd like to encourage us to all try to remember how much power we still have as individuals and rem remember the butterfly effect. Perhaps... If we all beat our little wings and go on behaving in a way that may not be Mr. Trump's way, we can create and maintain a powerful breeze of kindness and love in our everyday lives that will waft across the country. And remember, who knows, maybe we'll be surprised in a good way by what he'll actually do. Even, even if that possibility is remote, it's possible, isn't it? Well, as we chanted way back when, keep the faith, baby. Well, some of you may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Thanks again, John. Bye now.